Hello, I'm Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige. I have a very exciting announcement to make today. Over the next two weeks, I am going to be independent, independently reviewing over 150 wristwatches. That's right, over the next two weeks, I'm going to be posting over 150 videos and each video is going to be covering one wristwatch. So, I hope you people are very keen and very positive to hear my opinions on one over 150 top wristwatches. I'm going to be reviewing all sorts of brands. And some of these brands that I'm going to be reviewing include Jaeger Le Coultre, Lange, Omega, Patek Philippe, Rolex, Audemars Piguet, Breguet, Breitling, Cartier, and some other brands. These other brands inc include Bormann Mercier, Ebel, and I'm now asking for assistance from my viewers. If you would like me to rate a wristwatch that you are interested in, please send me 10 to 20 quality photographs of the said piece and a description of the piece. And I will endeavour to include your piece in my review. And uh, I'm, I'm basically going to be giving all pieces a PPP score. That's right, a Paul Pluter Prestige score. And this score is going to comprise of the following components. There's going to be up to 10 points awarded for the brand itself. And uh, I must say that uh, to get a 10, there's only one watch which will get a 10, and that's Patek Philippe. To get a 9, it needs to be a Holy Trinity member. To get an 8, it needs to be substantial, like a Lange, a Breguet, a Jaeger Le Coultre. So, the first criteria is the brand itself. The next criteria is the model of watch I'm reviewing. So this basically means how significant is this model in the lineup of that brand's range. So for example of a Rolex Datejust I would review a 16233 which is a two-tone Rolex Datejust and how important and how nicely does that model fit into the Rolex range. A score will be awarded of up to 10 points. The next criteria is the movement. Naturally in-house and a beautiful movement is essential to get a high score. The fourth factor, the fourth factor will be the overall quality of the piece. How well is the piece put together? What is the quality like? What is the workmanship like? And the final criteria will be the Paul Pluter Prestige Rating, which is a figure which I derive at which is my opinion of the piece out of 10. Scores will be tallied up to give a total score out of 50. And I hope to present this as an honest guide to the value of a watch in society. I hope to make the PPP, the Paul Pluter Prestige Score, a factor for scoring all pieces adopted by other websites and YouTubers and I would happily allow anyone to use my PPP scores to rank pieces themselves. So please, over the next two weeks, be prepared for me to review over 150 timepieces. Be prepared to accept the Paul Pluter Prestige Rating score out of 50. And please, if you'd like me to review a Pacific piece, Please send me some pics, 10 to 15 pics, of high quality pics of your piece, a description, some details about it, and I will mark the piece for scoring. 
I'm Paul Pooter from Paul Pooter Prestige and I hope you enjoy this enormous undertaking.